In the last video, we saw that the background image was not displaying properly and I asked you to do a little bit research on your own to see if you could fix the problem. Hope you find a solution. If you have not, then just follow along with me. We need a rect class object in draw bitmap method. You can google it for more information about rect class but it basically holds 4 integer coordinates for the rectangle. Left, top, right and bottom. Go to gameview.java, declare a class level object for rect, rect, rect. In our case, the coordinate for left and top is 0 and 0, but for right and bottom, it should be the value of width and height of the screen respectively. So I am giving you another challenge to find the screen width and height. Good luck. Welcome back. Hope you manage that as well. My solution is to create a display object like this. Right inside constructor. Display. Display equals to call get context. Cast this into activity then call get window manager and finally get default display now we need to create a point object point can hold two integer coordinates if we call get size method on display object with a point object as parameter, the screen size will be returned in that point object's x and y properties. We can store them in integer variables. So declare d width and d height in class scope. int d width for device width and d height for device height. Next, inside the constructor, write point size equals to new point display dot get size, pass the point object, then d width should be equals to size dot x and the height should be equals to size dot y. Now we have all four coordinates of the rectangle that encompasses the whole screen. The coordinate for left and top is 0 and 0 and for right and bottom it is screen width and screen height respectively. In our case d width and d height. Next instantiate the rect object rect equals to new rect 0 comma 0 comma d width comma d height. In on draw change this line to null rect and null. Run the app in the emulator. Great. This time we are getting the desired output. So to recap, I have shown you how to make any background image fully fit the screen if it doesn't by default. Next I will demonstrate how to create a simple flying duck animation on this canvas. See you there.